Well, hey guys, we're in Kirkville Cemetery in Itawamba County, Mississippi today, and we're going to take you to the grave of and pay our respects to another Mississippi athlete, Josh Hancock. And before I forget, if you think you like this kind of content, boop that like button. Well, as some of you guys know, you know, my kids and I do these videos, you know, to have a fun way to teach them the real history of Mississippi in sort of an unfiltered way. And we run across interesting stories and people and have sort of a, maybe a fun way to learn about life. At least it's fun for dad. I always enjoy watching Josh pitch. I mean, he's a Mississippi boy and he could throw a baseball. So let's get on to his story. Josh was born on April 11th, 1978 in Cleveland, Mississippi. Josh was a standout baseball pitcher at Vestavia Hills High School in Birmingham, Alabama. And even though he claimed to be a University of Alabama fan, he was a member of the Auburn University World Series baseball team in 1996. Obviously, Josh traveled a whole lot during his baseball career, but he always thought about the Tupelo and Baldwin area of North Mississippi as home. Josh batted and, yes, of course, threw right-handed when he was selected in the fourth round of the 1996 MLB draft by the Milwaukee Brewers. He didn't sign with the Brewers, but went to Auburn to play baseball instead. He was selected by the Red Sox in the fifth round, 155th overall, of the 1998 draft. He signed with the Sox and made his major league debut on September the 10th, 2002. In December of that year, he was traded to the Phillies. In July of 2004, he was traded to the Cincinnati Reds. The very next day, he was the winning pitcher for the Reds in a game against the Houston Astros. At the beginning of spring training in 2006, he was released by the Reds for being 17 pounds overweight. Very shortly thereafter, he signed with the St. Louis Cardinals and had what was probably his best season. He had a 4.09 ERA and pitched 77 innings, appearing in the 2006 postseason with the Cardinals. He would pitch out of the bullpen, being used in relief in what I call mop-up type roles. Josh was on the roster for the 2006 World Series, but did not pitch. Early in his career, Josh became known for giving up home runs. For instance, he gave up 17 homers and 68 innings in 2005, but in 2006, he had improved. He gave up only nine home runs and 77 innings of work. In 2007, he pitched in eight games and had a 3.55 ERA. On April 29th, 2007, Josh Hancock was killed in a car accident when the 2007 Ford Explorer he was driving struck the rear of a flatbed tow truck about 12.35 a.m. The tow truck was said to have been in the left lane helping with a vehicle that was involved in a prior accident. Josh's blood alcohol level at the time of his fatal accident was 0.157. Police did find marijuana in his vehicle, but the tox reports said that he had no marijuana in his system. Josh was texting when the accident occurred, and he was not wearing a seatbelt and driving at about 68 miles an hour. This was the second time within a five-year period that a Cardinal baseball player died in the middle of baseball season. Josh was driving a rented Ford Explorer at the time of his fatal crash because he had wrecked his GMC Denali a few nights before. Josh made his final appearance for the Cardinals on April the 28th in 2007, pitching three innings of relief. The Cardinals wore a special patch with the number 32 on their uniforms for the remainder of the 2007 season to commemorate his life. After his accident, several MLB teams banned alcohol from their clubhouses, saying they wanted to help keep their players from driving home intoxicated after home games. The Oakland A's even banned the use of alcohol in both 
clubhouses, saying it was a liability issue. Well, I hope you've learned a little bit about life and another great Mississippi athlete today. Thank you.